is a daily walk, right? 84 straight days with God is really life transforming mm. in his word because we know many Christians don't stay in his word every day. So that in and of itself is very transformational. Um, I incorporate gratitude in the journal because we have to look at the glass half full as opposed to half empty. There's a lot of science behind being grateful, you know, yeah. and, and, um, and so we, we talk about gratitude, um, documenting this awareness thing, just documenting why am I reaching for the alcohol? What do I really want? It's not giving me what I, you know, mm. I want romanticism maybe with your significant other. Well, God created us for true connection, not confused connection or not drunk connection, right? So we're not getting the connection that we want. Um, there's a lot of aspects of forgiveness that are in the devotional because many people drink because they have been unable to forgive themselves or unable to forgive somebody else. So they're trying to draw, you know, that sorrow uh, or drown that sorrow. Mm -hmm. And so we talk about the fact that God wi wipes the slate clean and he does that so you can experience the future. So you don't have to live in the past, you know. Um, so those are the, definitely some topics to count on. Well, the name of the book is The Plans He Has for Me. We alluded earlier to that's being, or that is taken from Jeremiah 29. So tell me why it is that you selected that concept to really be the title of the book. Because the transformation going from somebody who, was just praying like, okay, God, I'm kind of done here. I have no purpose anymore. <laughs> you know, I was retired to somebody who's written a book and inspiring others and helping others. I, like he had a plan <laughs> and it was such a much as people always do when they quote that verse, the plan was so much bigger than I could have ever comprehended. And so I just want people to know that Life on the other side, there's so much deception in alcohol, you know, what it's good for, why we use it. And once we kind of can just walk and document the deception and understand, I call it like cognitive dissonance, believing mm. two competing thoughts about the same thing. Yeah. I love alcohol. I need alcohol. How do I do vacation? How do I do romantic dinners? How do I relax? Right. Versus oh my gosh, I hate alcohol, I always drink too much, I always feel sick, it's making me fat, it's making me depressed, right? Which one is true? And that's what the devotional is trying to help people is document that truth. I'm feeling better, I'm sleeping better, I'm more connected, I have more energy, I'm doing more, I see a path, right? Mm. And so it's just very hope-based. Yeah, it sounds like, I think about what Jesus talked about the thief comes to steal kill and destroy mm -hmm. and you mentioned some of the thieves that are out there to steal what god has in store for us but jesus said i have come that you might have life and have it what Definitely. more abundantly and, and that so is what you're talking <laughs> what you are leading people into and and obviously the the subtitle is about alcohol but it sounds like to me that the principles are universal yeah. toward anything that that really takes a precedence in someone's life over the lordship yeah, the, of Jesus Christ. The and reviews puts, I get are actually like, this would be applicable to any bad habit in my life. Yeah, and that, I get a lot of those reviews. Of course, I'm writing it for su yeah. substance because substance is all the same. I couldn't write on a phone, you know, a cell phone a, addiction or something. Yeah. 